Hey everybody, it's time for another episode of Monday Movie Reviews. This episode is going to be about a boring, boring, boring piece of shit movie called New World Order, colon, The End Has Come. And Jesus Christ, I was going to watch this by myself to do one of these fucking videos, but <laughs> seven minutes into this fucking movie. I went on Discord and I was like, hey, anybody want to watch this shit with me? A fucking link to it? Just fucking described it? And we had a group of people watching this fucking movie. This is bad. It's on Tubi if you want to watch it. The first two minutes of this fucking movie are credits that it's just a black background with text where inside the text is a flame, a flame effect. That's two fucking minutes of this movie. And then, then it's just five minutes of the most boring fucking van ride ever and they could have been playing this fucking video with the fucking credits if they were better but no just two minutes of fucking credits and then five minutes of this shit and I genuinely don't even remember how the fuck I came upon this I think I was just on Tubi like, I, I, this is how boring the movie is. I don't remember how I found this movie. I legitimately think I was on Tubi.com looking for stuff to watch for the channel so I could review it. And I just came upon this fucking movie. But yeah, so, five minutes of almost just no dialogue. And all you fucking hear is this van going over fucking bumps and something in the van making a noise. That's the first seven minutes of this goddamn thing. And the fucking... The thing on the outside of the van is peace and order enforcement. The fucking poster for this is two characters, or technically four characters, on the bottom screen, on the bottom half of the poster, two women in the center, and then two dudes on, like, either side. And then the top is a dude's fucking, like, from here up. <clears throat> and on the dude's forehead is a stupid fucking symbol, which is, it's a black circle with... NW because it's called New World Order this movie had a fuck it apparently made a sequel 10 years after this fucking thing because this came out in 2013 a fucking sequel or prequel whatever the fuck it is it's coming out at some point in the year <laughs> like it is the most ham fisted fucking ugh Like, apparently people forgot, like, this is one of the other stupid things, because this shit, like, happened, and then, but, like, apparently nobody, like, none of the protagonists were Christians, even though they're being played by fucking Christians, I can guarantee fucking you that, didn't know about the fucking thing and like it, the, the fucking new like the, the the rapture and shit and the fucking mark of the beast and all like apparently nobody fucking knew about that except for the christians even though cultural osmosis is a fucking thing and there's literally a scene in the movie where the guy who turns out to be a bad guy but is like the boyfriend of the main woman the main, the main woman character um fucking is talking about how you remember when the the guy got assassinated on tv and 
Iran briefly controlled Europe. This is a mad... And nobody fucking reacts to it. Fucking... I'm like, it's so... And, like, they go... They do flashbacks, but, like, it's so weird because the beginning is in the, pre- the present, and then they fucking, like, go back in time, and then, like... They, they just go back to where, like, it was, but it was kind of... But they also kept, like, going back and forth during that, and it was so fucking confusing. It did not need to be like that. Fucking... The fucking... And so, uh, fucking, um... Someone pointed this out that we were watching it. The fucking main guy looks like the Twitter user and YouTuber so fame. And yes, they in fact very much do. <laughs> Fucking. Uh. So. Oh, it's so bad. And like, there's this underground group of Christians that were just like trying to survive and not fight back against the fucking dude, the Antichrist. A fucking. Also, it's like the bad the dude who was like the boyfriend of the main the main woman was like a traitor to the New World Order, and dude had a fucking the, the the mark on his fucking on the back of his hand, and nobody fucking saw that. Like, dude wasn't even wearing gloves. He just was like rocking the shit out, and like nobody fucking. They're just like individually. It's like, it, 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 like in the beginning, they're like all in this room, like they all get brought to this place, and they're just like bringing them one by one to get killed instead of just like blowing them all away with the guns they have. And I'm gonna spoil the ending because I don't give a shit. Fucking, it was. The reason why they had to bring people one by one into a room is because they were individually beheading them with the most complicated looking guillotine. Because instead of, you know, just like a blade on top, you know, that, it's like a thing, like a circle thing you put your head in and it chops your head off. And. That's how the movie ends, is, like, the main character gets her fucking head chopped off. Or, it's, like, the, the main char- the, the main character goes up, and then, like, the second main char- the main character lady, she, like, they're all, like, praying or whatever. <laughs> and then they just, like, they, they, they call her name, but nobody's, like, getting her up to take her to it. She just walks up and gets beheaded. And, like, it's, it's like, it zooms in on the fucking killing contraption and then it fades to black and then you hear like a blade like a, you know a blade being actuated like to chop the head off and that's how it ends and it's just <laughs> it's so it's so bad it is fucking terrible and there's a sequel that i'm gonna have to watch when it comes out on streaming and fucking oh then there's like her, the, the main character's parents get the, the, the fucking sign of the beast, the mark of the beast, and they rat on her, and then the New World Order shoots the people who ratted on her, on their kid, because reasons. And it's just like, it's so bad, it is just terrible. Um, yeah, so watch it, don't watch it, if you're gonna watch it, watch it with a group of people so you can spread the fucking pain, talk to everybody, have a wonderful fucking day.